Welcome to WP Met. Here in this video, I'm going to give you a detailed guideline about how you can use Elements Kit header in your theme. Before starting the video, make sure the Elements Kit is activated in your WordPress. After that, go to Elements Kit, Modules, and also make sure Header Footer module is activated. Now I want to show you where to create header and footer. In order to create header and footer from Elements Kit, you need to go header templates. In here, you may find header footer instead of my templates. Now click there and you can see this place is completely empty. Now let's create a header. Click add new. After that, you need to specify the title. In my case, I want to give the name header default. Now, in the second input, you need to define the type. As I want to create the header, I would like to keep the type header. And the third thing is the condition. If you click on the condition, you'll find three different conditions. The first one is the entire site, the second one is the singular, and the third one is the archive. If you select the entire site, this header will be applied to all the pages in your website. If you select archive, this header will be applied to all the archive pages in your website. But if you select singular, when you select singular, there another input will be available. Now after clicking there, you'll find more options. You can apply it all singulars, font page, all posts, all pages, even you can select any specific page you want to. If you select selective singular, on that time you'll have another input box and in here you need to specify for which page you want to apply this header right now i have the home page simple page and hello world page but i want to use none of them so i'm selecting the entire site then enable the activation and save changes after that, you'll find the header default. Now we have to design the header. Click on edit, edit with Elementor. And here in this page, we're going to create our header. But before that, let me show you in which page I want to apply my header. This is the page where I want to apply my header. You can see in the top, what this default header is now showing. But I want to create my own header with Elements Kit. Let's go back to the dashboard and start creating our header. Elements Kit offers more than 500 of ready sections and more than 25 ready layouts. It also gives you more than 25 different type of header design. In order to use them, you need to click this Elements Kit icon, then go to headers and there you'll find different types of header design. If you want to use any of them, click on it and you'll find the install option. If you want, you can see the live preview, but right now, I want to install it so i'm clicking the install after the successful installation process the header template is now available in my website as we haven't created any menu as a result the menu part is empty now let's create a menu in order to create menu in wordpress you need to go appearance menus and you have to give the menu name i'm going to give the menu name as primary menu then create menu and in this menu we don't have any item now let's create some item i have created some items like home about testimonial portfolio and service we will need more item as a sub item let's create those In here I have created three sub items now I want to use them under about our menu creation is done now click Save go to your header page and refresh the page now create on the menu part and in the left side you'll find an option named select menu click on it and you'll find your menu name our menu is not appearing in the header click save go to the font page and refresh the page and there you can see our header has been applied in our font page 
But if you need to change something like the hover color, drop down style or this button, now let's see those. If you want to change any content from this header, click on the content and you'll find the content area, the style area and advanced area. From here you can change any content you want. But as we are working with the menu part, let's know more about the menu. Click on the menu widget and you'll find all the available options that will help you to modify this menu. When you click on the widget, you'll find the widget name nav menu. Let me show you. Search nav menu. If you want to use elements kit menu on that time, you have to select nav menu where you'll find a kit. That means elements kit. Now let's learn how to modify your menu. Again click on your widget. The first option name is menu settings under contents. Now click on the menu settings and there you will find enable one page. Whenever you need to create any menu for one page or landing page, on that time you have to enable these settings. And from the second settings which is select menu, from here you can select the menu you want to apply for this template. As we have created only one menu named primary menu, that's the reason it's showing only one menu. The next one is choose mobile menu logo. What is it? Let me show you. If you go to the mobile version and open your menu, you'll find there is a logo which is empty. This is actually your mobile menu logo. If you want to apply it, you have to apply from the left side which is choose mobile menu logo. Now select a logo from here. And the next one is the link. This link will be applied for this mobile menu logo. In here by default it's selected to the font page. But if you want you can select any custom page. To do this from the drop down select custom URL and in here you can apply any URL you want. For my case I want to keep as home. Then the menu alignment section comes. You notice this menu is in the center point of this area. What if I select left side, this menu will be appeared from the left side. Or if I select right, it will go to the right side of the area. You can also select justified. On that time, it will cover up all the areas. Now in the next option is for the hamburger icon. Let's select an icon. If you go to the mobile version or tablet version, you'll find this icon and the selected icon, both of them are same. Now the next option is the breakpoint option. This breakpoint option will break your desktop menu into a responsive menu. Right now I'm in tablet mode and it's showing a hamburger icon that actually contains the menu. If I click here, the menu will appear. The another option is the height. You can control the height of your menu. Then the border radius and background type comes in. Let's select a background from here. There you can see our menu background is changing. What if you select the border radius? I'm selecting 10 pixel and you can see our menu has got some radius. Now go to style and there you'll find some other options. From the first tab, you can choose the typography. From here, you can also choose the size of your menu. Let's make it 18 pixel. You can select font weight, transform and style. Let's change the transform from uppercase to capitalize. You can select line height and letter spacing. If you want to apply menu padding on that time you have to use this section. Or for spacing, you can use these options. Right now, the spacing is 15 pixel from the left and 15 pixel for the right. After that, the background type and the item text color appear. Let's select the item color white and the background type black. One thing I want to say you in this video is that I'm not designing any beautiful menu, just I'm showing you the settings of the menu and how can you use it. Now what if you need to change the hover color of the menu? To do this, go to hover and select a color from here. 
I'm selecting the color as green and let's see the result. But if I hover on the menu, this color changes from white to green. You can also select the active color when you are using multiple pages. Now, what if you need to work with the sub menu? On that time, you need to go to the sub menu section. These are our sub menu. If you want to apply style in the sub menu, then open the sub menu section. And from sub menu, you can work with the border type, background, and the border radius. And you can also apply the box shadow. This sub menu style will work same as the main menu, but this will be applied for the sub menu only. For example, let's change the background type to green. And the result you can see the sub menu background is now green. Now, what if you need to work with the hamburger style? Let me show you. In tablet device, you might need to work with this hamburger icon. In order to work with it, you can go to hamburger style. From here, you can choose its position. But if I select the left position, you can see it appears in the left side of this area. As you don't have a sufficient area, you might miss the noticeable change. Let's increase the area. There you can see the hamburger icon is now in the left side. Let's make it to the right side and you can see it's now in the right side. You can also work with the padding of this hamburger icon. You can work with the width, border radius, typography and the font size too. Let's increase the font size. We can change the hover color and the normal color of this hamburger icon. In order to do this, from this section, go to background type and change the color to any color you want. For my case, I want to use a gray color. And for the hover color, I want to use red color. Let's hover on the hamburger icon and you can see the color is changing. Now save the menu. Go to the font page and refresh the page. Now when you scroll down, your menu is not sticky. You might need to make your menu sticky and keep on the top of your website all the time. In order to get this, go to your menu, select on the menu section where the logo, menu and the other items are available. Then go to the advanced part. From there open elements kit sticky. Then you'll find the sticky option. Select top and update it. You can also apply it for any specific device from this section. I'll select it for all devices. You can select the sticky offset and sticky until. We'll be talking about the sticky features in detail in our sticky video. Alright, let's see the output. And in this time, when you scroll down, you can see the menu remains sticky in the top. 